All right guys, Michael McCrudden did a part one to this video and did a great job with teaching all of you some tips and tricks to grow in your Instagram. But I thought I would chime in and bring you part two, seeing as I have a couple more followers than the average bear. Hey YouTube, welcome to the most amazing top five. My name is Amber Smith, sit back, subscribe, and let me entertain you. Now let's jump into our list with the top five tricks to grow your Instagram followers, part two. In the number five spot, we have timing. Now, Michael made mention previously that time is of the essence, and I wanna take it one step further. To be honest, I don't really believe that posting at a specific time during the day matters, because I personally have followers all over the world. So my 5 p.m. is very different than even those that aren't that far away, like LA, for example, which is three hours behind me if I'm at home. But posting on a Sunday might be a better bet than posting on a Friday. Why do I say this? Well, because on a Sunday, people likely have time on their hands. They're probably kicking it on the couch, nursing a hangover, or watching TV. Whereas on Fridays, everyone's gearing up for the weekend and getting ready to party. In the number four spot, don't be spammy. Whether you are just a regular human posting casual pics or you own your own business and want to get some more attention, no one likes seeing excessive products coming at them from the same person. If you're gonna represent something, take some pride and only do it if you really believe in what you're being affiliated with. Now, a bonus to this point is that people will actually take you more seriously when they see an odd collaboration with a product or service and not one every single day. It'll only turn out better for all the parties involved in the long run. In the number three spot, Latergrams. Now Michael did previously state that there is an app or program that you can use to post when you can't actually do it yourself. I'm not sold on this. It's called Instagram because it's instant. So when you're posting photos from your day in the sunshine when it's clearly midnight and you're in bed or after the event's been over, you've kind of missed the boat. You kind of got to wait until Throwback Thursday to post it. I mean, okay, you don't have to wait till a Throwback Thursday, but to maximize your engagement, this rule definitely stands. Next up at number two, speaking of engagement, engage. We all scroll through tons of pics and sometimes we like what we see and sometimes we don't, totally fair. But if you wanna grow, you get what you give. Make sure you take the time to like and comment not only on your best friend's posts, but on random people's within your network. A good way to do this is to actually hit up your popular page and give credit where credit's due. This will expand your reach to people who previously wouldn't have known who you were and they'll see your posts and they'll likely give some love back. Finally in the number one spot, we've got your content. Post cool sh people. When people ask me why or how I have so many followers, my only answer is that I live la vida loca and I try to have as much fun as possible. Unless you're a master chef or in that industry, no one wants to see your lunch or something super lame like your new manicure. That's what Snapchat's for. All right guys, I hope this has been helpful for you. Feel free to let me know in the comment section down below what you think I've missed. Thanks for watching Most Amazing Top 5. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so I can bring you more amazing top five videos. And since we're on the topic, don't forget to follow me on Instagram.